Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel as NPCI has sent the assessment mail for coding exam and this is the first time NPCI is conducting conducting the coding exam. So we will discuss the few uh, preparation question related to NPCI exam preparation question. Yeah, so first question is uh, given an array of size n, uh, you have to calculate the standard deviation from all the elements and the standard deviation is defined as the quantity expressing how much the members of a group differs from the mean value of the group yeah so this is the question and the constraint are the array size should be greater than zero and the array element should be greater than or equals to zero yeah so let me explain you with the help of example okay so uh, let's say the example will be like the input array is one two three four and five so to, uh, and the size of uh, array is five so we have to calculate the standard deviation uh, so for calculating the standard deviation of the element first we need to calculate the mean and you know that the mean is equals to sum of all elements divided by the number of elements yeah so first we will calculate the sum so the sum will be one plus two plus three plus four plus five that is equals to 15 and 15 divided by size of array which is five so 15 by 5 is 3 so mean we have calculated the mean as 3 now uh, then in the next step we have to calculate the differences of all the elements from this mean like um, first we'll take our first element 1 minus mean and then square then second element minus mean then square then third element minus mean square then fourth element minus mean square and fifth element minus mean and square so uh, we will we have to calculate the first we have to calculate these differences and then we have to calculate the squares so 1 minus 3 is 2 and 2 square is 4 2 minus 3 is 1 1 square is 1 3 minus 3 is 0 0 square is 0 okay and 4 minus 3 is 1 and 1 square is 1 and 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 square is 4 okay and the formula of standard deviation is the sum of the differences which is 4 plus 1 5 plus 1 6 plus 4 10 divided by number of element and we have to take the square root of the final element okay so 10 divided by 5 is 2 5 twos are 10 and square root of 2 is 1.414 so the standard deviation of the all the elements is 1.412 okay so this is the question so uh, yeah so this is the sample in format first line contains an input elements of size n and uh, and the output format you have to print the mean uh, standard sorry standard deviation uh, so for this example as we have seen the standard deviation is 1.414 yeah so let's discuss the step by step approach yeah so first we will calculate the mean of the elements so mean is equals to sum of all elements divided by the number of elements then we have to calculate the differences as i have uh, as i have discussed in the solution that we have to find the differences from the mean then we have to find the sum of squares as you have seen like here uh, so yeah so for we have to calculate the uh, sum of squares from the mean okay and then at the last take the square and and before that we have to divide it with number of elements here we have divided we have calculated the differences of sum and then we have divided by the number of elements and at the last we have to take the square root okay so at the last we have to take the square root of the above one so let's discuss the time complexity so the time complexity of this solution is order of n because as we have like uh, we are only traversing like one we we are not like using uh, uh, a double loop inside and inside so th this is the time complexity order of n it is linear okay and the space complexity is order of one because we are not using any extra space so let's discuss the code of this solution this is uh, the code of the problem in c plus plus so first uh, this is the n which is the number of elements in the array then i have declared a vector of name arr of type integer and then i have traversed n times and uh, in, i have ta and taken the elements as an input and uh, pushing the elements into the vector basically vector is a dynamic array you can read more about it in c++ stl from google then i have declared a uh, n variable for storing the mean and 
first i have calculated the mean which is equals to sum divided by n then i have taken a variable called standard deviation sd which is initialized to zero then i have traversed n times and calculated the difference the difference will be the current element minus the mean and in the standard deviation i have added the uh, two squares so as we have discussed in the solution uh, we have to uh, add the difference of square okay so difference into difference we have to add in the standard deviation and uh, at the last we have to divide the standard deviation by n which is number of elements and before printing it we have to find the square root sqrt is the inbuilt function which is used to calculate the square root of the given elements okay so let me run out again yeah so five is the number of elements and then uh, the elements are one two three four and five yeah, so standard division for uh, 1.414 to 1, which is expected. And the time complexity is order of n, which is linear because we are not using any double loop. Uh, and the space complexity is order of 1, which is linear. Okay, so let's discuss the next question. Okay, yeah. So next question is related to string. So uh, we are given two string and we, the task is we have to check whether two strings are anagrams of each other okay and the uh, an anagram of a string is a, another string that contains the same character only the order of character can be different okay so let me explain you with the help of example uh, in the given we are given we have to check whether two strings are anagram so uh, let's say the two string will be a b c d input string and the second string is d a b c so we have to tell whether these two strings are anagram or not anagrams means the character the frequency of each character in two strings must be same okay so let's say in the first string the frequency of a is one uh, the frequency of b is one the frequency of c is also one the frequency of d is also one and in the second one the frequency of d is one a is one b is also one and c is also one you can see here the frequency is of a is one here the one here the frequency of b is one here also the frequency of b is also one here the frequency of c is one here the frequency of c is also one here the frequency of d is one so frequency of d is here also one so we can say that these two strings are anagram and if the strings are anagram we have to print uh, yes and if the strings are not anagram then we have to print no so this is the question okay so let's discuss the step by step approach so what i can do is first we will uh, traverse through first string and increment the frequency of each character in the hash map okay so like uh, here we can see that uh, uh, like uh, let me clean out the board yeah so let's say the first string is a b c d and the second string is d a b c so i will take a hash map okay of type character and integer i first i will traverse to first mash, hash map and increment the frequency of each character a so initially frequency of a is zero so i will increment by one so a becomes one b is also zero b becomes one okay c is also zero initially so c becomes one and d is uh, initially zero so d becomes one now i will traverse to the second hash map and decrement the frequency okay in the first from the first string we have to increment and in this from the second string we have to decrement okay so d we have to decrement the frequency of d frequency of d is one so we have to make it zero frequency of a is one we have to make it decrement by one that is zero also b we have to decrement by one that is became zero c uh, becomes uh, uh, decrement by one which is became zero and at the last we have to check whether the frequency of all character must be zero okay zero means the frequency will be same and we have to check if the frequency of all character in two string will be equal or not so if at the last if the frequency of all character in the hash map, so let's discuss the step by step approach of this question so first we have to store the frequency of all the character of the first string and increment the frequency 
and this uh, and then we have to decrement the frequency from the second string and uh, at the last we have to check whether all the entries of hash map is zero if it is so we then we can say that a string is anagram we have to print yes else we have to print no okay so let us discuss the time complexity first so the time complexity of this solution is order of n plus m because first we have to traverse the first string then the second string so the time complexity is order of n plus m where n is the length of first string and m is the length of second string and the space complexity is order of 26 i i i will tell you why it is order of 26 because in the constraint it is given that the string constraint contains only lowercase letters and we and we know that there are only 26 o, uh, lowercase letters so therefore the space complexity will remain constant that is order of 26 so let us discuss the code of this question yeah so i have taken two string string a and b then i have taken the input then i have declared a hash map of type character and integer which will store the frequency okay then i have traversed through the first string and increment the frequency of each character in the hash map by one and as i have discussed in the solution then we have to decrement the frequency from the second string as we have discussed in the solution and i have taken a variable called of type boolean which is is anagram initially it is true and then we can traverse through the hash map and check if the if the if the entry if the second entry of the hash map is zero means the the value at that particular key is z is not zero if it is not zero then we can say it is not anagram so we uh, we have uh, a variable called is anagram we have initialized with false and we can simply break out the loop we do not have to check leather because uh, the frequency of current element is not zero in the hash map as we have discussed frequency must be zero to uh, to say that it is anagram okay so if the if the value of that particular key is not zero then we can say that it is not anagram we can say is anagram which is equals to false and we will simply break out the loop and at the last we can check if is anagram remains true after this loop then we can say that the is anagram the two strings is anagram we can print yes else we can print no okay so this is the code let me run out okay so first string is a b c d and second a b c and sec sorry let me re re rerun the program again sorry let me try it again oh so work connection issue let me copy the code as the code will gone yeah yeah so the first string is a b c d and second string is d a b c so expected out is yes because the two strings are anagram so the time complexity of this solution is order of n plus m as we have discussed because we are traversing through first string and then second string and the space complexity is order of 20 as we have discussed the in the question it is given that it contains only lowercase letters so the space complexity is order of 26 yeah so this these are the two question that may came in the npci exam so all the very best for your tomorrow exam and let me know in the comments if you are facing any issues and difficulties related to the question and all the very best we will meet you in the next video thank you